What we are saying is have a heart. We've got to be able to regenerate our people. There will be people who are kind, people who are cruel, but that's life. You can be bigger than about the I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Okay, I'd like to change the subject uh, to the question of elderly abuse, because I think that that's mm -hmm. a situation where we have uh, old people who are helpless, um, and it, it includes infliction of physical, emotional, psychological, and sexual harm to an adult, and it takes the form of financial exploitation, abandonment, neglect, and medication abuse by the caregiver. In the U.S. and other countries, even when it is there, I think it's heavily underreported. And it's the same as child abuse. It just doesn't get reported to the point. Part of it is shame. A person being abused doesn't want to go talk about their pair, about their children abusing them or whatever. So that's one big factor. And often it really comes about because a third party sees something and then steps in. Um, I don't know what the rates are. I would suspect it's pretty low in Asia, but I that may be my own bias, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I actually don't know the rates. Have you any experience of this? Um, I'm not sure about the rates, and I think it's it must be severely underreported, as you mm -hmm. say, because of shame issues and so forth. In fact, I agree with you that whenever it's raised, it's because someone has noticed. Yes. And it's now not, not only within the family, it is the maids that look after them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm a kipola. <laughs> when I go downstairs in the block and I see the the woman is sitting on the chair and her head and the maids are stalking, I say, yeah. Oi, yeah. I'll tell your ma'am, okay? Look after her. Because they all congregate mm -hmm. and there is no there's no checking. So I see a lot of that happening. Yeah. A lot in Wangpo where you have people in wheelchairs mm -hmm. and things like that. And as long as the family, normally now what family members work. The maid is in charge. Yeah. There's nobody else, yeah. okay? And you get the yeah. other side where it's, it's, you don't see is where the maid really is part of the family and really cries when, you know, because they've been part. So I think there is abuse. I, we, we see it a lot more in church when they come in and say, you know, my son wants, to me, to the, uh, wants me to sign over the flat. Mm and yes. I, I don't want to do it. So they spend many hours in church, and I, because I go early, I say, Auntie, you're so early, you know? And they give me a sweet hand, I talk to them and say, you don't sign. If anything else, here's my number, call me. It reminds me of my grandmother. You know, she had dementia, so her, her memory was deteriorating quite um, at a rapid rate. So she, it came to one point of her life where she was living in the past and that past, during that past it was uh, the period whereby she had a caregiver that actually steals money from her. My, my uncle is an old age home as I said <coughs> and they have foreign workers, you know, Burmese, Filipinos and things like that. I spend time and I spend 2-3 hours with him. I also go in quite regularly unannounced so I can check the treatment and say and he's, he doesn't complain you know uh, they they it only tells me at night when he presses the bell it takes a long time for them to come so what happens is that home is a better home but still there are lapses because when I'm there during meal times I've seen how sometimes when some of the inmates can't really talk properly and all that, the, the, the level of communication is quite rough. They're Filipinos, they can't speak Hokkien, can't speak Cantonese. <laughs> so, you know, when they're, oh, and the guy, ah. Oh. So then I realized that because they can't communicate, there is this anger. So I call this and say, look, if you have inmates, uh, you have a patient who can speak a dialect, ask him to ask the patient to interpret. You see, sometimes the, the problem can be solved in a very, because they are not aware. So the awareness level, so even you've read cases where they throw the patient on that nightingale mm. and the mm. sun form, you know? So you see what happened is the government... The nightingale case where they yeah. threw the woman on the bed and And there are her. other cases even in mm. Orange Valley where you pay 3000 a month where PP members, many of the PP members are board of directors. Don't assume that you pay a lot of money and you're, you, you get the kind of treatment, you know? 
you'll be surprised when they check and come and uh, say, how come the mother is like that without the blanket and things like that? And they're paying 3,000, 4,000. It's not cheap. If you don't have enough training, proper training for caregivers, for the domestic maids or for the um, um, nursing home staff and all that, then that could happen because the caregivers themselves can be very stressed as well. So I think we have to also look into why yes. abuse happens. I agree mm -hmm. with you. One of yeah. the things they found out, why very hard to get locals, the pay is very yes. poor. And looking after old people, it's not easy. They have to change them there. So in the anger when there's no one looking, supervisor is very important, you know. You don't have that. Even in the government services, it's the same thing happens. They'll do whatever they want to do, what, you know. So you need to make the pay better. And you need to still have someone supervise. Right. If not, it will never change. Okay.